Everybody's, everybody's like, like Curtis, because you're not fucking <laughs> cussed so much. Could you just towed it back? Right. I mean, everybody. And you know what I say to that? I like, mean, here's, here's, fucking no, dude. Hey, welcome to an episode of Because Liberty, where I'm out walking around, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, spit some Liberty stuff out. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably waiting for some type of Punisher Squad video update type thing, or possibly some weed video. I highly doubt a bunch of you are waiting for my my weed reviews. But uh, I'm actually a Liberty activist, and so yeah, uh, in case you didn't know, the uh, Because Liberty that's my thing. Um, so two subjects I want to talk about that kind of have an interrelation um, when it comes to do with liberty and, uh, and, and, and just the reality of things. So we're going to talk first about gun control and how gun control works. Um, people pass laws uh, hoping to get guns out of the hands of criminals or make it harder for criminals to get guns. And then the reality of the situation is People that want to get a gun uh, are going to get a gun. And somebody that wants to get a gun to commit a crime, they're not going to go about getting a gun legally, more than likely, in the first place. So um, gun control laws just don't work. Simply, like, you're not going to get rid of all the guns. Uh, that's not going to be a thing, especially when America is in the business of just making them for the rest of the world. Uh, and anybody that wants a gun, you know, can get their hands on one pretty easily. Uh, and so when you think of, you know, gun-free zones, uh, anybody that's a criminal that is planning on committing uh, some kind of heinous crime in uh, anywhere that is a gun-free zone, they're not going to show up to the area and be like, oh, I guess I can't go in there with my gun and uh, commit these, you know, heinous acts. Because there's a sign there that says it's a gun-free zone, so I'm going to have to leave this gun at home. Um, no, that's not what happens, actually. You know, they just, they realize that more than likely there's not going to be anybody with a gun in there. Um, because the only thing that it does is take guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens, which... So, I'm just going to cut it short this part of the, 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 the little episode. Um, most of you that are watching this, or would be watching, you know, my show, uh, very much understand that... Uh, Gun control only keeps guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens. It definitely doesn't stop any type of criminal from doing whatever they want. Um, and it doesn't, you know, gun-free zones certainly don't even stop regular law-abiding citizens from keeping their guns, you know, not inside the gun-free zone. Lots of people just carry it anyways um, and don't get caught. So there's that. There's that, that little segment, the, the, the gun control issue. Um, gun control is a steady hand. Uh, we should probably, you know, understand that a stupid sign on a door isn't going to stop somebody from going in. With that, that's a nice little segue into the next topic that I'm going to be talking about, and that's uh, transgenders in bathrooms. And it seems like, um, you know, with Donald Trump taking away the, uh, basically, the, uh, the federal right for people to use whatever bathrooms they, they need to be using. Um, it, just, it just boggles my mind that so many people that understand the gun control argument don't understand the whole transgenders and bathrooms argument. So like I know that a lot of people's fears, because I read this online, and some of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard, is if I see any freaks going into the bathroom with my daughters, I'm going to shoot them. It's, this just it's ridiculous, okay? So the people that need to use the restroom are just trying to use the restroom. All right? that's, that's it. They're not trying to go into the bathroom to do anything to your kids or do anything to your wives. They're trying to go in there to go to the bathroom. And here's a little clue. like They've been doing it for years. You probably just didn't notice. All right? So there's that whole thing. Now, this whole issue with People assuming that sexual predators are just going to walk in and say, oh, they, all they have to do now is identify as a woman and they can go in and do whatever they want. No, they can't do whatever they want. You don't get a free pass to do whatever you want just because you're transgender. That's not how it works at all. You certainly don't get a free pass on any type of assault or sexual assault or anything like that that one might do in a bathroom. The fact that they're transgender or identifying as transgender or whatever is going to have no bearing whatsoever on any case of assault or sexual assault inside a bathroom. All right? That's just ridiculous. 
Now, a monster who is intent on committing a heinous act inside of a bathroom with some little kid in it certainly isn't going to not enter that restroom because there's uh, some kind of stupid law saying that they can't go into the restrooms now, okay? If somebody was like, you know, all bound and determined to wake up that day and go do some kind of god-awful thing inside some bathroom with some little kid in it, you know, and they're on their way to the place where they're going to do this crime and they get there and, you know, suddenly, for some reason, there's some sign on the door that says you can't come in here unless you were, you know, born a woman, born a man, whatever. Whatever the stupid sign is going to say, or however the law is worded, that's not going to stop some monster from going into the bathroom. So if you have small children that you're worried about that type of thing, you're going to want to just have them use the restroom with you and accompany them. Um, first of all, you might try just parenting a little bit. I don't know. Just a thought. Uh, but just realize that, you know, that, that's not going to, to solve anything. These, these stupid laws. And, you know, like how many times have you been to a concert and there's been some chicks in the bathroom because the chick's bathroom's way too full and the guy's bathroom's lines move faster? It's like, it happens all the time. It happens at concerts. happens at mud... Uh, at monster truck rallies, happens all over the freaking place, man. Um, and, you know, outhouses, they've been pretty much transgender bathrooms the entire time. Nobody seemed to have been freaking out uh, at that point. You know, you can go to, you know, lots of big cities nowadays, and they just have signs on the door that just say whatever or whichever. Um, so, like, which brings me to my next point. I've heard a lot of you guys, since Donald Trump's made it a state's rights issue, you know, and things really should be a state rights issue. Luckily, our state here in Washington got this one correct a while ago. So, you know, here in Washington, you're all good to use the bathrooms. Um, whoever wants to use whatever bathrooms, you're all good because that's one of the two or three things that Jay Inslee's gotten correct. I mean, okay, James has got like this bathroom issue correct, and he's got the uh, sanctuary city, sanctuary state thing correct. <laughs> I know that bothers a lot of people, but like I said, I'm a liberty activist, I'm a libertarian, and uh, th 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 there's, yeah. So, being a state's rights issue, yeah, you're correct. Here in Washington, we got that. There's got to be, I'm sure, one thing, other thing, besides those two things, as far as I'm concerned, that James Lee's done properly, but I can't think of it. So there's two things that I can think of. So there's that. So the, uh, the whole issue about signs stopping people from doing things, such as gun-free zones or some stupid sign saying a person, some kind of monster, can't go in this bathroom. And when I say monster, I'm talking about people that are going to be committing some kind of heinous act on people. I'm not talking about just regular people trying to use the bathroom. All right? Um, I'm going to show you really quickly how well signs work to stop people from doing things. So, check out that sign. Pretty sweet sign. Sidewalk closed. Hmm. You know, it was, it's a dang shame because I was planning on going up this sidewalk and then I got here and it says sidewalk closed. Hmm, whatever shall I do? <laughs> I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around this sign and do whatever I want anyways. Um, look at this. The sidewalk's not actually closed. The sign doesn't stop free people from doing what they want. So there's that. Now to, you know, wrap up the, uh, the gun control issue and the transgenders and bathroom issue really quickly, I have one... Really quick piece of advice to any transgender person out there um, that is afraid of some stupid hick flipping out and uh, bothering you while you're going around to use the bathroom. Get a gun. Straight up. Get a gun. Learn how to use it. Uh, you know, there's a group called Pink Pistols in Seattle. And, and there's Pink Pistols all over the place. And it is a uh, LGBTQ uh, gun rights group for self-defense and uh you know that's what i would do oh look there's another sign that says sidewalk closed look how that worked so that about takes care of the uh the gun control transgenders and bathroom episode of because liberty on the move 
Uh, I don't know if I should use on the move, but you should check out on the move with Mac Worley. <laughs> um, because Liberty on foot, I'm walking around. Have a good night. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe, you might get some Punisher Squad updates. Have a good night. Be free and be happy.